Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a hair tutorial on this look right here. This one I call like an effortless, relaxed waves. It could be a beach wave look, whatever you want to call it. I really, really, really love this look, especially on long hair. Um, you can definitely do this on short hair as well and it'll look just as good. Today I'm using a flat iron by Remington. I have partnered up with them to do this video. So if you're interested in knowing how I got this exact look right here, then please keep watching. As always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you never miss out on new videos. If you want outfit inspirations, follow me on Instagram. I'm just Naomi Boyer and let's get to the video. <laughs> So let's begin. I have just blow dried my hair. I washed my hair last night and I just blow dried it straight. This can work fine even if you don't have your hair blow dried straight. Alright, so for today's look, I am using this hot tool by Remington. It is a flat iron. It is a one inch flat iron. The great thing about this Remington tool in particular is that it is made for color treated hair. So I have never come across any styling tool that kind of caters to color treated hair. I have a lot of highlights in my hair, so this is perfect. We all know here heat causes damage to our hair and so this is perfect because it protects your hair when you style it for up to two times less damage and five times longer lasting color. So there is an actual button right here specifically for color treated hair. When you press it, it kind of activates it to let it know that you're going to be styling color treated hair. Otherwise, if you don't have color treated hair, you can still use this flat iron like you would any normal flat iron. You don't have to press that button. Also, I really like this because it shuts off automatically. If you stop using it for a while, it turns off by itself. It goes up to 450 degrees in heat. I have this one set to 300. So obviously I take the extra precaution all the time. If you don't, you should take this extra step. I already applied heat protectant to my hair. I really like this one. This one is by Bumble and Bumble. It is the Invisible Oil Heat UV Protective Primer. So this look is going to be just like an effortless waves type of look, almost like how you look if you had naturally wavy hair, except I'm using a flat iron to create this look. Using a flat iron gives you a little bit more of a different look than using a curling iron. It's going to be messy, and so that's what I love about it. And so I already have done a couple of curls in the back here that you can see. And it's nothing perfect, so I'm just going to move those to the back. Just wanted to show you guys. Alright, so the motion we're going to do, we're just going to take the flat iron and we're just twisting. Twisting, letting go, and then twisting, letting go. I have pretty long hair. It's a little bit below my boob, so I feel like two times of twisting and letting go on a section of hair is enough. So what I mean by twisting and letting go is basically this. So you just take the flat iron, go down a little bit, twist like that, and then let go and then go down the middle part, twist like that, and let go. And you can already see just creates these little bends in the hair. And then if you wanted to do it one more time, you could. Again, the ends of the hair should be straight. And so basically, that's what we end up with. Nothing so perfect or anything. And you just do that basically all throughout the hair. You might want to grab it also and let it go there. Twist it around and then straighten at the bottom. All right, let's keep it going. Grab a hold of the hair, then twist one time, let it go. Then again, twist one time, drag it down, let it go. Straighten the ends. So this is basically what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna show you guys in depth a little bit closer. All right, again, just in case you're confused, this is how you do it. I just wanna show you again one more time. So you grab a hold of the hair, go down a little bit, and then with both hands, hold the bottom of the flat iron, twist one time, and then bring it down and let it go. Do the same thing. And then when you get to the ends, you can straighten it out. And if anything is too curly for you, you can always use the flat iron to kind of straighten it out to make it more subtle. Just. Grab a hold at the bottom with both hands, twist and let it go. Grab a hold, twist, let go. Straighten at the bottom. 
Now for this look, I actually like to use smaller sections of hair just because I feel like it looks a lot better. Um, if you use bigger sections, the curl like is gonna go one direction. A lot of the hair is gonna look like it's going that direction. And so I like the separation that smaller sections bring when you do this with a flat iron. All right, now I'm going to start back up at the top. All right, so this is basically what it looks like. I really love how subtle it is. It's not so curly. So it's just gonna look like you didn't even try, like you almost like woke up with hair like this. And so what you're gonna do when you get to the front, like bangs of your hair, like I have this little section right here, is you're just gonna do the same motion, but more towards the middle and really soft and subtly so that it's not so curly. Again, you just want a bend because this is gonna frame your face like barely anything just like that and then if the bottom of it gets too curly like this again I'm just going to straighten it out okay just like that so you see how it kind of just flows all together it's really really pretty just like that so we're going to start with this side what I'm going to do is I'm going to take smaller strands again do the same thing to this side. Grab a hold of the hair, go down a little bit, grab both hands at the bottom, and then twist and let go. It's actually easier for me to just do one hand like that. And then there you go. Whatever is easiest for you, do that as long as you're getting that twisting motion in there. You do have to bend your wrist. And don't worry if you feel like you need to go over it one more time, you can. Like this one, I just went over it in the middle. Also, if it's easier for you to section your hair out, you can go ahead and do that with clips. Twisting, letting go, twisting, letting go, straightening the ends. All right, so right now we are back to the front of the face, this little section here, which are basically like my longer bangs, and we're just gonna do the same thing we did on the other side, towards the middle, just kind of do a soft, fast wave, and just get it to the desired bend that you want, and that's what I like. And I'm just going to straighten the ends a little bit so that it all just kind of flows and lays nicely with the rest of the hair. This is what we have. And now when I look at it, I just kind of want to go over just to make sure everything matches. If I do something again too curly, I can just run it through the flat iron again. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I really, really like it. So a flat iron definitely gives a completely different look and a different type of curl to your hair versus using like a round barrel. What it also does is it also helps your hair in the front lay down against your forehead really nicely because of the flat iron. But I really love this outcome and I hope you do too. All right, so now to end this video, I'm just gonna spray some dry spun finishing spray. This is basically a texturizing spray. This one's by Bumble and Bumble. Now I love this one too because it doesn't leave your hair like wet or crispy. It also volumizes it really, really nicely. And then do the same thing to the other side. Play around with it, lift it up a little bit, 
press it in. And then lastly, so that my hair doesn't look too dry, I'm just going to add some of this Whey hair oil. I love this stuff. It's some of my favorite hair oil. Again, don't ever use too much when using an oil. I just like to focus this on the ends because that's where I feel like my hair tends to look more on the dry side. So already with that oil, you could see a difference between this side and that side. I just barely put like that much. And we'll just go through it just like that. The front, press it in. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you want me to do more tutorials like this. So if you love this video and you think that someone else could benefit from it or someone else would love it too, share this video with them. Also, if you made it this far and you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell as well. That way you get notified every time I put out a new video. If you want daily outfit inspirations, follow me on Instagram. I'm just Naomi Boyer, and I'll see you in my next video.